Is Brexit your number one concern as we enter into April? It's definitely a concern. I would say, will it be the main one? Today, the main question that all analysts are asking is, with the economical volatility, uh, do we foresee uh, a continuing appetite for digital? That's, that's the main question, including in the UK, actually. And the, the digital challenge, the fact that uh, e-commerce and channel and data is completely transforming industry is undoubtedly today the, the big engine for growth. Question is, can it resist a downturn? So we don't see the downturn, but that will remain all year long the main question. Okay, and uh, Paul Armona, when people ask you that, what is your answer? So do you see an impact? Are people to, less they, likely to invest? Are they retrenching a little bit? No, today it's clear we have a strong appetite. So the start of 2019 is quite solid. We reported that our pipeline of opportunities has been growing by 11%, which is good. And, of course, I would just say, if the economy was turning a little sour, then cost competitiveness would become the main driver. And we see a few large deals coming up. So there is more appetite for radical and wide transformation with some large clients. So today we look well equipped. So we issued a guidance this morning. Clearly, some analysts were struck by the fact that the the band for the guidance is a little larger than last year. Last year, we guided for growth at constant mm -hmm. currency 6 to 7 percent. This year, we gave a wider range, 5.5 to, to, 5 .5 to 8. So this shows that we are ready to adapt to a little more volatility, but the demand remains pretty solid. Uh, you offer a number of services. Where do you see the main growth coming from for Capgemini? First, I would just say the, the, the most buoyant segment is small ways is cybersecurity, yeah? because it's an obsession everywhere. There are threats, there are attacks, so this is growing. The, the next one would be digital. The, the digital uh, challenge is there. The whole retail feel a little bit besieged or certainly under a big transformation challenge. But we see the same in automotive. Uh, people speak of China and the reduction of car sales in China, but we have not seen car manufacturing stopping their investment in connected vehicles, in autonomous cars. So the, the digital engine, we, have, we were 22% in 2015 exposed to digital and cloud. It now reaches 45% and we will pass the 50% mark it probably by middle of next year. So the group is well equipped to take advantage of this tailwind.